Hey y'all, Emily Bowie here. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out another video. I truly appreciate that. Today I thought I would go over how I like to set up my drum parallel buses. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll know each time that I upload new videos. And also, if this is something that you did enjoy, hit the thumbs up. And if you have anything else you'd like to add, please leave me a comment in the comment section. Parallel compression is a very common practice in mixing that is used to help fill out a song's stereo image. You can use parallel compressions on vocals, drums, guitars, and any other instruments that you have in a session. There are a few ways to go about setting up these parallel compression buses by using different routing methods, but I wanted to go over how I like to set up my parallel buses for drums. Now what I do here is I have adapted Vance Powell's parallel compression technique and calibrations that he uses on his SSL console to work in a DAW. I think it works great and this is how you go about setting that up. This technique consists of two different drum buses. They are stereo buses here, the drum bus and the drum crush bus. Now what you choose to put on each of these buses is up to you, but these are the plugins and the settings that are recommended. For the drum bus, we have the UAD Neve 33609, and these are the recommended settings. Um, we will have the limiter engaged here with the threshold all the way up, fastest recovery, fastest attack, and on the compression side, threshold at zero, fastest recovery time again, zero gain, a ratio of three to one, compression in of course, and our output actually needs to be at zero. These do need to be linked. They are in stereo. And depending on your headroom, I mean, you can't go wrong with 18. So I'm not really sure if this is going to affect anything that we're doing, but I just always put it on 18. And that is the drum bus. For the crush parallel, we're using the UAD Fatso Jr. And again, these are the recommended settings. Input at five, output at five. The compression style here has all three engaged. So you'll just click on this button until all three of them are engaged. The bus, the general purpose, and the spank. Our warm setting is at four here and they are linked. Next, what you'll need to do is set up your drum outputs to the parallel buses as well as your stereo out. Sometimes I will have each of these individually routed to the stereo and to their parallel buses. Um, in this case I do have all of the drums routed to one drum channel because I have everything in this session as mono. Also there's no room mics here and the mono overhead is actually capturing all of the shells as well so I'm going to treat all of those the same. If this was uh, a different setup and it had you know a lot of room mics and overheads then um, I do have uh, a link to a blog which explains all of this and which one should be routed to which parallel compressions. And I will say that the drum bus will get kick, snare, toms, overheads, and hats. The drum crush will only receive the actual drum kit, the shells, the kick, the snare, and the toms. And you can find all this information in text and readout form on my website's blog, which I will leave a link to down in the uh, show notes here. Now I'll show you how to calibrate the parallel compressions returns back into the overall mix. What you'll do is you'll find a simple mono track that you can have sent out to your stereo bus 
and to each of these parallel compressions one at a time. And that goes like this. So we've got our signal generator here. And just so we're not being annoyed by that signal, I will go ahead and mute the overall output of that. Not sure that it matters what frequency you've got this set on. We're just going to be focusing on the level. So I'll go ahead and engage that. So we've got our signal here, as you can see. You'll then put a VU meter on your last out track here. Everything else has been bypassed. It's just picking up the signal on that mono track that you've assigned it to. All right, so we have our signal generator here. And what we want to do is just find a reference point on here um, that we can build on. So uh, let's increase this a little bit and we'll we'll settle for five here. So five on the VU meters, that's good right there, um, is our reference point. So we've got our drum bus here. We've got our signal going to the stereo out, which we are measuring with the VU meter. And we also have it sent out to the drum bus. It says that it's going out vocal bus there. Just disregard that. That is actually in mute. And we are just using the stereo and the drum bus. Next, we will go over how to calibrate the returns of the parallel bus compression right after this. Hey friends, thanks so much for watching this video and subscribing to the channel. Besides making videos, I'm also a recording and mix engineer. You can find out more about me and the music services that I provide by going to fairairmusic.com. Have a look around and don't forget to fill out a contact form so that we can get started on making your music sound like a record. Okay, so now what we want to do, we want to calibrate how much gain we want back into the overall mix and we only want one db so what we'll do is on the return fader here on the drum bus we will increase until we see a gain of one db on the vu meter so right about there looks good we've got our signal coming from the signal generator here. That looks good. Okay, so now what we wanna do, go ahead and mute that, is unmute the drum crush. So we'll go back over here to our stereo out. We will make sure we remove it from the drum bus and click on the drum crush. All right, let's put that all the way down. So we're back at five here. We have nothing else going through the generator except for the stereo out and the drum crush. Okay, so now we will add a dB to this control. Okay, right there, got our signal. Everything looks great. So what I'll do is go ahead and kill this generator. Unmute our stereo output there. And we will check our outputs. So for all of our drums, we are going to the drum crush, the stereo, and the drum bus. So let's check out the drum bus first keep our actually we don't need this anymore let's take a listen and see what we've got everything's looking good we're, we're getting uh, right around four uh, dBs of compression there it's exactly what we want so let's move on over to the drum crush.
And that one looks great as well. You want to see a little about three on the compression there. Sometimes it may go up a little bit, may go a little bit less, but around there as an average, it's exactly what we want. So now I'll just kind of go back and forth to give you an idea of what these parallels are doing. We'll start out uh, with just the clean drums here, just going to the stereo out with, and I've got everything on my stereo output here uh, bypass, so you're just going to hear what the compression's doing. And now for the crush parallel. they really fill everything out with only adding a couple of db back in now here's with both of them engaged It's a really good technique. Um, I, you know, if it's good enough for Vance Pal, it's good enough for the rest of us. And I really like that I know how much is being added back in and still receiving the benefits of what these parallels do, what the 33609 does, what the Fatso does. They really add just some body to it and makes it sound like it's filling out the area of the overall frequency spectrum that we expect the drum kit to do. And that is how I like to add parallel drum compression. And like I said, this is just a little bit of an adaptation of what Vance Powell does in his commercial studio and on his big SSL console. Um, this is working for me quite well. Uh, I do like that I know how much I'm adding back in and I just really like the overall sounds of these plugins and what it does to drums. So let me know if this is something that you already do or if this is something that you're going to try out and let me know how that goes. Um, anything else that you'd like to add, please leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. I answer each and every one of them. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you're not forgetting to hit the little bell icon so that you'll know each time that I upload a new video. If this is something that you enjoyed, please hit the thumbs up and share with someone that you think may benefit from this or is trying to get into learning more about parallel compressions and drum compression. Um, this is something that I have found to work quite well and I will continue to use it. May tweak a little more along the way, but for right now this process is working pretty well and I'll continue to do that. So thank you so much for checking this video out and I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching y'all.